Okay, I'd like to talk about how to draw X-bar trees for sentences that are not in English. So if you've been taking an English-focused syntax course, then you're probably familiar with a very typical X-bar tree, where it starts with a TP, it breaks up into an NP, or maybe you're using DPs at this stage, T-bar, T to VP, and then that continues on. So no matter what language you're working in, it's going to look similar, but the order in which the daughters occur are going to change. So you might have a, uh, a case where you have a TP with the T bar on the left and the DP on the right. So this would be a language where you have VOS or OVS, something like that. So let's take a look at the example above and see what we need to do. So first we should do some investigating with the gloss. So the gloss says that little rat three ants saw and the English translation is that little rat saw three ants. So we know that this is going to end up being a complement. Uh, we have little rat which is going to be our subject and saw is uh, something with past tense we don't really know if it's before or after uh, the verb phrase, but we can, we can take a look and see what's going to happen. So we'll begin our tree as normal. We're looking at a tense phrase here. We have a subject on the left, so I'll make a DP for that, and we'll do that little rat. So we'll have D being that, which in this language is pronounced hey. Then we're going to have our noun phrase, which will be at an end bar level. We're going to have an adjective phrase being attached to an end bar level because it's an adjunct. Little is describing rat. And then we're going to get rat at the bottom, which is chook. Okay, so this will be an adjective phrase. I'm just going to abbreviate it quickly here to get little in there. So this is going to be the left side of our tree. It looks pretty similar to something that we have in English. We know that little is going to be an adjunct. So in the tree, it is drawn as an adjunct as well, connected to both of those end bar levels. Now on the right side, we're going to have to do something a little bit differently because if we just focus on three ant saw, we notice that the subject, sorry, the object is coming before the verb. Okay, so saw is going to be at the very end. So this will go to a T bar as usual, and we want the VP at the end. So uh, for the sake of this, I am going to have an assumption here that this tense is head final. So I'm going to put T bar here, and I'm going to put T out to the right. Now we can try a different way later, but for now, let's just work with this. So we have a verb phrase and we need to get three ants saw. Well, three ants is going to be a complement. So this is going to branch off from V bar and V. V should be on the right. So this is saw, so this is written as to is. And now we have three ants. So this is just an NP. There's not really any determiner there, although some of you might have learned that three is a determiner. So let's just go with that. Whether you want to call it a, uh, a, a numeral or a determiner doesn't really matter to me. So D bar D, this is going to be three, which is two gook. And then we'll have our noun phrase ants to the right here. So that's just a head. It goes down to N. So this is how we can get the order where first we get the subject, then we get the object, and then we're going to get the verb. Now, what's going to happen if instead of putting T to the right, we decided to flip it with the VP? So let's just see what would happen there. So here's T bar. We're going to get T over here. We're going to get VP over here. So we're going to end up with a plus past. Now, if we continue on, 
we can still get our NPs and DPs to the left of the verb. That's not going to be the problem. The verb is there, but this past is a little bit distant from the verb. So it would essentially have to select for something with an intervening DP. So the chance that the plus past is after the VP is going to be more likely here. Let's do one more example. So this is from Korean, and this has a complement phrase in there, so a CP. So the translation is, Yuli said that Toli went home, but in actuality it says, Yuli Toli home went that said. So we have our two verbs here, went and said, and we have our topic Yuli, our subject Toli, and what we notice in this one is it says said that Toli went home. So in English, we could see something like a TP to a DP, a T bar, a T, a VP, a V, and then we'd end up with some complementizer phrase, started with that, and blah, blah, blah. And this happens when the verb is before its complement. But if we look back at the gloss, it's Yuli Toli home went said that. So that totally went home is this bit in the middle right here. So we can see that we have a verb to the right and then we have the CP on the left. We have the little complementizer. We get another little verb phrase here that will eventually branch off into those two. Uh, we have totally being the subject. So let me just erase a lot of these markings and we can see how we can do this. So. From what I can see, and I'll just write something to help out, this is going to be SOV as well. We have an S, we have an inner clause with an S, an O, and a V. Uh, we have a complementizer, and then we have a V on the right. And this whole thing here, this inner clause, is acting as the object for that verb. It's a complementizer phrase. So if we're doing this tree, we can start out nice and simply as before. So Yuli will say that this is a determiner for the sake of brevity. Yuli is a name. This is going to branch off into T bar. Because we have a final verb, we're going to put tense on the right again. So this is going to be plus past. And we're going to have our VP on the left here. So our VP is said, and it takes a complement. It takes a clause as a complement. So we'll put the V on the right here. I'm just gonna write this one in English for the sake of brevity and for understanding. So said, so we have Yuli and said, we have our first and last words in the tree, so everything has to be in the middle now. So here is where we're going to introduce the CP, and we're going to take the same uh, style that we have before. So the heads are gonna be on the right. So here is C bar, and we're going to get that on the right. And now on the left, we're going to get a new TP. And this, two, and this new TP is essentially going to say, totally went home, or totally home went, if we take a look at the word order. So we can repeat the same thing. We're now just making a new sentence in here. So this is going to be D, totally, uh, we're going to end up with a T bar here. The T is going to be on the right with past tense. It's going to take a verb phrase complement. And then we have went home. I'm just going to assume that home here is a complement and not an adjunct. That's just my assumption based off the data because some languages do work like that. So uh, we're going to have V bar. The object is going to be on the left. So I'm just going to call this an NP because we don't have any determiners. So this will be home. And on the right, we're going to have our verb went. So if we zoom out here, we get a rather large tree that might look a little bit more different than what you see in English. We have our main clause consisting of the main subject or the topic in this case, Yuli. We have our verb said, and then we have our inner complement here. So this is the direct object of said. And within that, we're introducing the complementizer and a new sentence where we have the subject totally, we have the verb went, 
and we have the object here home. So you can see this inward pattern that you get with an SOV language compared to English's SVO languages, which look uh, very much like that going down. So we can see uh, sort of a difference here where we're continuing to go inside. So I hope that helped. It's just one short video. If you'd like me to do more, feel free. I didn't really go into the details of finding adjuncts and complements there. I think that you should be okay with that. But if not, as always, you can just let me know and I can go through that.